fire for Yahuwah, not how one day you'll be right with Yahuwah and you'll be faithful and you'll be committed and you'll be loyal one day when all the stars align properly. Uh -oh. Now, are you righteous now? Are you rightly re aligned to Yahuwah now? Now. Ask yourself that. Say, self, am I rightly aligned, am, uh, aligned to him now? Am I righteous now? Am I in right standing now? And righteousness can be a very fleeting thing. There's positional righteousness, which Yeshua gives you by his blood. That never changes. Right. Right? But then there's experiential righteousness, which means you're acting out, out of character. You're supposed to be kadosh by his blood, and you're not acting kadosh. You are acting out of position. You are acting out of character. Oh, wow. You need to ask yourself all the time, am I acting out of character? Make sense? Yes, yes. Out of position. And these people were, who were committing harlotry were acting out of character. Mm -hmm. they, they, were, they, had, they had bitten into the harlot principle. Wow. The unrighteous, who are not constantly living in the moment, not only positionally, but experientially, Amen. will not inherit the mahu. Then Rashul says, avoid the harlot principle. The harlot principle will deceive you. Yes. Why? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, we learned we learn what that was last week. What is fornicators? Men yes. who what? Have sex yes. with someone, a woman who's married, yes. or with a virgin or a single woman, but does not follow through in marital covenant and right. kedushin, but they, they, they withdraw and go elsewhere. They don't follow through. What's so terrible about fornicators is a fornicator causes a, if, if he has an affair with a married woman, he causes her to what? Commit adultery. Commit adultery. So he has a ripple effect on other people's behavior. Yes. Yes. Nor idolaters, nor adulterers. Mm -hmm. Those are the women yes. who have sex outside of marriage. Nor effeminate, I'll get to that in a second. Nor homosexual. Okay, well, no, homosexuals. Well, Yeshua never spoke against homosexuality. Yes, he did. He wrote the Torah and he gave the Torah. He sure did. But you see, homosexuality is not the unpardonable sin. That's the way we've made it in the church. That's the way we've made it in religion. The unpardonable sin is what? Attributing the works of, of uh, Satan. Lucifer to Yeshua. That's the unpardonable sin. Okay, so those who have homosexual leanings will not inherit the kingdom. Right? Wrong. Those who would like to commit adultery but keep themselves righteous will not inherit the kingdom. Right? Wrong. Do not let the devil make you think that thoughts are the same as doing the act. The thoughts are not the same. The thoughts can be taken captive to the will and the obedience of Yeshua and stop deceiving yourselves and make yourselves prepared righteous as you are positionally righteous in Yahuwah. Amen. So homosexuality is not the unpardonable sin. Idolatry is not the unpardonable sin. Fornication is not the unpardonable sin. Adultery is not the unpardonable sin. The unpardonable sin is, I believe in Yeshua. I believe he raised the dead. I believe he walks on water. I believe he healed the sick. But I believe that the power that he uses is the power of the devil. You have just blasphemed the Ruach, attributing the unclean Ruach of Satan to, to be the power source of Yeshua. You with me? Yes. So don't let the enemy lie to you. He says, be not deceived. Those who continually practice fornication, those who continually practice idolatry and adultery, all forms of harlotry because you're selling yourself, you're, you're, you're selling yourself to something other than Yahuwah. Hello? Yeah. Am I boring you? No, no, no. You are selling yourself for, for something, some compensation. Compensation, doesn't have to be money to something other than him. You are, you have pledged allegiance to him and him alone. Can I get a witness? Amen. So look, it doesn't say those who think about fornication, that's what the church wants you to think it says, but it doesn't say that. 
You should have said, well, hey guys, look, if you look at a woman with lust in her heart, <laughs> you've committed, adult, you, you committed fornication, adultery with her already. <coughs> you might as well go do it. See, that's a lie of the enemy. Right. You have not done it. You will have the power to take that thought captive. Right. And if a woman lusts after a man in her heart, it's as if she's already committed adultery. What Yeshua was trying to say was, you Pharisees are not saved because of your Torah keeping. You need a greater righteousness, which is my blood, applied to your sins. He's not saying thinking equals the act. Because if that was true, there'd be nobody left on the planet. Ooh. Because everyone in this room, at one time or another, can we talk? Yes, let's talk. Around the world, listening on radio, listening on YouTube, has thought of killing someone. Yep. Don't tell me no. But it was by car, <laughs> by rope, I can't die on poker, but by gun yeah, in the house. Right. We have thought of killing someone because we're frustrated, we're angry, yeah. we're in a bind, we're in a pickle, a and we don't know how to get out of it. And in our frustration and our wicked hearts, we think somehow that eliminating the other person or a person might bring us some kind of a victory or some kind of a healing. <laughs> don't lie to me. Because the, the word of Yahuwah says you shall not lie. Somebody cuts you off in traffic, you're so angry that your middle finger pops up. As soon as it hits the brake, you are ready to kill. That is anger in your heart. Yes. If that anger is channeled in the right way, it can lead to murder. Yeah, that's true. Or in the wrong way. What's that? Only the people on YouTube Right. Not in this room. Not in this room. <laughs> so... Do not let the devil lie to you. What Yeshua was saying is, look, you Pharisees, you think you're righteous and you don't need me? You think you don't need salvation? Let me tell you about adultery and fornication. It starts in the heart. And if you're thinking about it, your, your heart's wicked. So you're not fooling me. You need to come to me and be my disciple. He's not telling them thinking about it is the same as doing it. Because if thinking about it was the same as doing it, the human race would be eradicated and eliminated. There wouldn't be any human race. We would all wipe each other out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. And most of us have believed that lie. Well, you know, I think about it all the time, brother. I think about stealing. I just can't get my fill. I can't get my job. I can't get what's mine. Everybody's got what's theirs. I just can't get what's mine. Been there. Been there. So if I steal and ask you sure to forgive me, he loves me. I just gotta get what's mine one way or another. And then the devil says, You see, you're a thief. No, you're not. You're someone who's being tempted by thievery, but you bring it under the control. In other words, remember I told you how to have victorious Israelite living? Can we talk? I mean, we're talking as brothers and sisters, not as religious folks that are hanging out together. Right? Right, exactly. Here is the good news of the best of the power! The power! Of the best Sarah. You ready? Amen. Amen. Is anyone enjoying? Oh, yes. Oh, Amen. The Amen. principle, the Harlan principle. Here's the way we are to approach sin so that you don't sin, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. You with me? Ready? Yeah. Here's the correct, healthy way. No matter what the sin is fornication, for men, adultery for women, idolatry for most of us effeminate behavior for most of us, I'll get to that in a second, and homosexuality. Ready? I can do it. I can cheat. I can lie. I can do anything, especially in the United States where we have the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can do it. Now here's the scary part, lady. You ready? Here's the scary part. Mm -hmm. He just got mentioned on YouTube, now you can be famous. You too. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. I can do it. Well, we all know we can sin. Pleasures of sin for a season, right? Yes, sir. I'd like to... Do See, that's where your, your, all your pseudo-holiness and religiosity and two-facedness comes off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not only can I sin, anything in the Bible I can sin. I would like to. Hello? Why are you men looking at me so righteous? There's a lot of things I would like to do. 
That's the scary part. Yes. 